Hello friends, welcome to the tutorial series on Postman from Software Testing Help. In this tutorial, we will cover creating API documentation through the Postman application. As part of the document creation process, we'll see how we can add more description to the collection and in the requests that are part of the collection, how we can save the example requests and responses for the individual requests in the collection and then finally how we can generate documentation for the requests that are present in the collection so let's get started so i have opened the postman application console and i have a sample collection that contains three requests one is register user second is get user and third is login user the api that i'm using here is request.in it's a public facing api and it's a fake data api that's publicly available and we can use that api to test through postman so let's get started after adding these three requests in the postman collection let's see how we can first add some description to our postman collection itself so open the collection options and say edit in the postman documentation sample collection in the description tab you can write the description about the collection and this allows the markdown format that can be used so this markdown format is typically a commonly followed convention or document styling practice for most of the github repositories and essentially there are some special tags that are present in markdown which converts it into html when it gets processed and it applies some stylings based on these tags so i have just written some sample description for this collection to see how this markdown will look actually you can probably copy this and there are a lot of online applications like markdown live preview.com you can simply add your markdown here and see how your markdown will look so see this left side is the markdown that i added in the collection description and right side is the actual view that is generated out of this markdown so essentially similar to this will be displayed in the actual documentation that will finally create as the last section of this video so once the description is added for collection you can simply click update and now let's see how we can add description to the individual requests in the collection so suppose for register user we can see here there is a link called add a description simply click this and you can see that this also mentions that description supports markdown so again we can enter our text in the markdown format i do have some sample already created to save time here i'll just enter this here and it's just simple text like an API endpoint to register a user in the system. I'll just click save. And you can see here in the preview itself, it is showing you the markdown or the style text. Similarly, for other requests, let's add in a similar way. Here it goes for the get user. And here finally, let's add for the login okay so now we have some request description for all our requests and as well as collection now before we finally hit the documentation publish let's also add samples or examples for each of these requests so how you can create examples is for each request you need to execute it once by clicking send once you send on the response body 
you can click save as example and you can give the name of example as register user example and click save example so once this is saved these will be also used in the documentation or in the published documentation to basically help define what kind of request or what kind of sample request and response this particular endpoint generates so once the sample is saved you can access it from the examples and it will show you register user example if you open it you will see that there is an example request with some body and there is some sample response so essentially this is persisted with the collection json itself or in other words now this example is part of the actual collection so let's do the similar thing for other two requests as well so i'll just say send user or send request so it's not generating anything probably i can update as the environment variable is not resolved or we can select an environment if it is there there you go i'll save it as example and i'll say get user example save example you can see here it has now persisted and showing in the examples drop down and similarly for the login user the response is successful i'll save it as example login user example click save and this example is saved here yes so now for all the three requests we have added a request description as well as the examples so now let's see how we can go about creating documentation for this particular collection well it's very simple you just need to open the collection options and hit publish docs from here you will see that this will open a link in a browser and you can see that it contains some styling information some information about the version of collection and about the environment with which the collection has to run so let's not discuss about the extra options that it provides but let's see that the collection description and other information that we have added is it getting captured in the documentation or not so there are two ways to do it one is the published collection and what it does is it will basically make the collection available at a public url and it's generally not recommended to publish the collections on a public url if they contain some sensitive information but yeah if they are like open source or public or do not have any sensitive information we can go ahead and publish the collections second is preview documentation so let's click preview documentation and it will again open the preview in a browser window and so let's first scroll down and see we can see that it's a styled documentation that the document generator has created itself with little or no effort in particular and this is really a good collection of documentation that can be shared with anyone who wants to use the api so let's see what all information are is there in this documentation on the left side we can see that it lists down all the requests that the collection has on this right side highlighted is the collection description that we had added in the markdown format and you can see that even in this documentation this markdown format is preserved 
we added a hyperlink for this request response dot in api and we can see that it's hyperlinked next when we scroll down we can see that there are individual requests that are listed down and the request descriptions that we added in the markdown are also displaying as it is along with the request urls another important point to note is other request parameters like request headers request body etc are also displaying along with the request so since this collection has just three requests we it does not make sense for these hyperlinks but like for collections having multiple like hundreds of requests it will allow you to navigate to a particular request that a user wants let's focus on the right side now there is a language drop down and you can see that it lists a couple of languages like php node ruby etc and these are pre-built by postman and essentially whatever language you choose it will allow you to have some predefined or some templated code for the api and that code can be simply copied and used in used for any prototyping that someone wants to use with your api so it provides a lot of commonly used languages i'll just select curl for now also another important part is the request examples or samples that we had added are also displaying here on the right side and for a user who does not know about the api they are really useful because this gives anyone a clear idea on what the api will expect and what the api will respond in general so these api request response examples are helpful for someone who is referring to or reading to the documentation for implementing the api in his or her code so this is the out of the box documentation that's provided by postman we can see that there are some styling options available as well they are not very detailed or something that we can change a lot but it's mostly related to colors like background colors and these are like hex codes for the colors like i can change it to four zero and it will show some color yeah so essentially this is the right sidebar color and it's the hex code for for any particular color i i'll probably try using the same color just to illustrate this so now this examples or the code section should look in this orange color let's click preview documentation again and yes you can see that now this is an orange color so yeah these are some basic styling options that it does provide which can be used by the user if you want to publish the documentation on a public url and for api endpoints or apis where the it contains sensitive information you can also use custom url domains where you want to publish the collection and uh, this is generally recommended for enterprise users and again it's not a free option but postman does provide you to create enterprise accounts where a custom domain will be used to publish collections and documentation so that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much.